But uh, but that's not enough. They, they they announced another new book for you this morning. Uh, how exciting is it to be tackling Babylon? I mean, I know it sounds super cheesy. I know it sounds the line, but this is a genuine dream come true. Um, I mean, Batwoman has been my favorite heroine, bar none, DC Marvel, no matter what, um, you know, since she was announced, essentially. Um, I, was, I was in high school when she was announced, that's how long ago it was. Um, and just the overwhelming, you know, significance, you know, of, of just, you know, her being introduced to the DCU, how I absolutely fell in love with her through Greg Rucka and James Williams' run. Um, you know, like, she has always been the dream character, and it's, I mean, there's, I don't, I don't know where else, how much, like, higher up I can go. <laughs> Obviously, you, I mean, one of the interesting things about what you're doing right now, almost every book that you're writing is, it's almost, it's, they're, they're like a feminist statement, almost. Like, the fact that they exist in, in the current marketplace, it's like you're doing Bombshells, you're doing Joes and the Pussycats, and you're doing this. And uh, is that a niche that you're really comfortable embracing, or is that just something that you kind of fell into? It's right what you want to read. I mean, like, these are the things that I enjoy. Like, you know, there was, there was never really like a mission statement. Um, I mean, I just, you know, this is writing naturally. Like, there are women in the world. They do things. <laughs> with, with Bombshells, one of the things that we've just yeah. seen huh? is you're introducing... We, we talked actually briefly about the Suicide Squad issue. We couldn't say those words oh, yeah. at the time. Uh -huh. um, uh, how much fun has it been to kind of... You've almost kind of changed settings in that world in a big way the last couple of issues. Yeah. I um, mean, yeah, with each arc of Bombshells, you know, we had somewhere else. Um, you know, when we were first rolling up the series, um, you know, each heroine, uh, you know, like one of the major conceits was had, had been to define um, the heroine by uh, a medium or a genre um, that was part of the era. Like, you know, so, so Batwoman started as this, like, you know, cheesy radio adventure serial reel, and, you know, Supergirl was a propaganda film, and Zatanna was, like, this black and white horror movie. Um, Wonder Woman was a war story, and Aquaman was a romance. And, you know, so we sort of like sculpted um, this, you know, alternate history of World War II um, out of the art and stories of the era. Um, and so now, you know, like we, we you know, we, we had uh, the launch of the world, you know, like the characters are starting to, you know, to meet, and, like storylines are starting to coalesce. Um, and so now we're going uh, theater by theater. And, you know, so we had, um, you know, at issue 12, like this climactic, you know, like, like Battle of Britain, essentially. Um, then, you know, we had this, um, this infiltration of Berlin, which is the current print arc. Uh, for some readers who are already in the digital side of things, um, you know, we've been in the North African theater. Um, and then after this, um, we're going to head to the Soviet front. Um, it's going to be very exciting and very cold. <laughs> So are we going to see some version of like Red Star or somebody? You're, we're going to see a lot of heroines. It's going to be very fun. One, uh, going back to Batwoman, because I'm, I'm positive that 80% of the people who are watching the video are watching because they're excited about it. Oh. <laughs> um, what, what is going to be kind of different in your take versus what's going on in James's book right now? Oh, um, well, James and I are actually going to be co-writing the book, you know, so, oh, yeah, uh -huh. right. so, and then um, with, with art by Steve Upton, um, and so, I mean, like, working with James is actually, you know, like, one of the things that sort of, like, gives me, like, the bedrock on which to stand, um, you know, like, James's, uh, you know, work with that woman in Detective has really been able to, you know, like, to, to bring her to, like, you know, this, this brand new audience of readers, um, and, you know, have made her, you know, such a core part of the Bat family and given her this place to you know, explore relationships with others, you know, when she's been sort of isolated before. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's really tremendous. Um, you know, like, James is, is my comics brother. Like, you know, he was with me, like, before day one. <laughs> um, he's always been so supportive, um, you know, he's just been, a, like, a guiding force in my career. Um, and, you know, like, I'm so stoked to get to work with one of my best friends, right? Um, and so what we're going to be doing in the series is we're going to be essentially exploding Batwoman out of Gotham. She's going to be going on this, like, globe-trotting mission um, using, you know, black ops and military technology. Um, to track down people who had escaped the Bat family's jurisdiction in the past. Um, you know, so we're going to be, you know, like, 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 you know, old supervillains, new threats, um, and people who are going to be coming um, out of her past. Like, you know, for the fans of the Rekka series, you know, like, like, we know in Batwoman's timeline, after she was ejected from the U.S. military, um, there are these lost years, you know, that, that she was, you know, like, going all over the world and, you know, like, having, you know, like, like troubles and, you know, like, like you know, explorations. Um, and something happened that, you know, sort of picked her butt back into, you know, like, returning to Gotham and assuming the mantle of Batwoman. And so we're going to be going into that, you know, like that, that black period. Um, and, you know, like we're going to be exploring the people that she met and the people that she thought she was done with and the consequences of the things that she did in that version of her life um, that are, you know, trickling back in to the things that she's doing in the present. It's really funny to me that as we get these much more iconic versions of the characters again in Rebirth, um, we've seen Batman and Superman to varying degrees leave their cities. Yeah. And now you're doing the same thing with Batwoman. What do you think kind of taking the weight of Gotham off of her offers? 
Um, well, I honestly think that in a way, it's not just Gotham, but it's also the people that she's begun to build these relationships with. I mean, like, she's still going to be a major part of Detective. Like, you know, like, like the, one of the, the, you know, conceits of the way that she's able to, you know, go on this globe traveling mission is that she's constantly mobile. So she'll be able to return. She will still be in their life. She will still be in their book. James will still be writing her solo. Um, you know, and so, but we wanted to be able to, um, you know, sort of show who she is when she's with this family, when she has this support network, and then also, you know, show who she is when she's cut off now from her family, you know, like with the, all the Colin Collinwood's been happening with Jacob Kane and the Colony and Detective, um, you know, show who she is when she has to learn to trust new people. You know, like, like show who she is when she doesn't have anyone left to trust. Um, you know, whereas she's beginning to come into connection with people to whom she was something else. You know, like the, the way that you're a different person to your family than you are to your friends, than you are to your partner, you are to your spouse, you are to your children. Um, she's different people to different, like, you know, to two different people. Um, you know, and so people who are going to start re-emerging are going to be people who knew her at a very different stage in her life. And it's sort of, you know, realizing, was she this person because she was with them, or was this actual person she was, or wanted to be all along? Um, and so, you know, we'll really be able, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a definition by relationships as much as it is by geography. And the people, you know, who come into your life at certain points as much as the people who come into your life at certain places on the map. One of the interesting things I think about Batgirl, or Batwoman, excuse me, is that she has had her own life and her own stories in a way that most new characters in the last 10 years haven't, because everybody's so defined by events. Um, is it really kind of gratifying to, to be able to go into the DC universe, but at the same time have a character who's kind of fully fleshed out? Yeah. Uh, no, it's very fun, and honestly, you know, like, there's still you know like, these significant gaps in our history that you know we now go and like get to go and explore. Um, you know, so it's, it's there's just so much you know rich story to work with. I mean, like you know, like Greg Rucka and Jay Atoli just run. Just you know, I fell in love and it broke my heart <laughs> in the best way possible. Um, yes, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, you know, like like some of it's gonna be like kind of like cruel fun, <laughs> but you know, it's gonna be just you know an absolutely outrageous story. Thank you so much.